When I was a young man, I was never allowed to pass wind in the house. That was prohibited. My aunt used to say to me, Aubrey, if you're going to do that, you go outside. Which is fair enough, isn't it? So of course, I used to feel one bubbling up, didn't I? I don't want to be vulgar. But I was often upstairs and I used to have to run outside and sort of, you know, I used to sort of stand up because I'd been building it up for hours, you know, I used to sort of stand like this and let off, you know. And Auntie Jill, we used to call them Auntie and Uncle in them days, she used to look out of her window, you all right, Aubrey? I used to say, yeah, I'm all right, I, I'm sorry. She said, I thought it was thunder. And some people may think that's weird, but I've never passed wind in my own house. That's disgusting, you see. I prefer being outside, that sort of take it away, don't I? So anyway, that had been raining for weeks, and I'm in my lounge, and all of a sudden, I thought, oh gosh, now, some people might go to the lavatory, but I, to be honest with you, I don't like the smell. I don't. I prefer to be out in the open because that waft off, doesn't it, you know? So I, I couldn't get the back door open. That was swollen shut with all the damp, you see? So I'm tugging away like this, and I think, oh my goodness me, I let off. I broke wind in my kitchen. First time ever. Whoa! So I trip off, you see, trundle off to the pharmacy. I didn't see me regular one. I say, where's mister? Before I could finish, he said he's gone home. Gone on holiday, gone home. I said, oh, because he's an Asian gentleman. You know, I thought he might have gone back to where he, his family were originally from. He hadn't, he'd gone to work, sob. That's where his family were from, but that's beside the point. So I explained to this young man, he looked like a young Lee Majors in many ways. You know, he had very thick set about him, you know, and a six million dollar man. He had biceps the size of my waist. He listened politely. He say, well, I'm now going to do an impression of your farts. I don't like that word. He said, well, is it a <laughs> like this, you see? Is it a <laughs> or, or, God forbid, a <laughs> you know. By this time, the coup had sort of started to build up, you see. <laughs> I just said, no, I'll have that one there, please. That'll do me. Pay me money, went home. I was a bit perturbed by it. You know, there's no need for it. Take this pill. Size of a battleship, honestly. I never did anything like it. I, I struggled a bit, you know. So, mm, down that go, sat here for hours, you know. I had to go back to that. There he was, you see. And I thought, oh, please don't embarrass me. I told him the story. He said, Mr. Orsini, that's a suppository. He said, wait till the end of my shift. And then he changed his mind. He said, now, actually, go into that cubicle. I'll be right with you. Looked like a phone box to me. Couldn't swing a cab. So I go into this little cubicle door open. He had to deposit it. Oh God, I didn't know where to put myself. But to be fair, he did it well. I go on a regular basis. <laughs>